Yeah, that's a question I pose you guys. Uh, you get that fresh ass haircut, do you tip your boy? Ladies, you, you get that nice pedicure and manicure, do you do you tip your nail tech? Or your or your beauty salon? Who else other than the food industry do you guys tip? She fell in love with me cause I'm a lyrical misfit We staring the whip in the sunshine and cheering and singing He's saying, I'm in love with the shape of you What's good YouTube? Lockout man in the truck early in the morning man Let me uh, let me tell you something I am here up in New Ulm, Minnesota I am here at my terminal It's dark Yes, it is dark. I'm not even sure if you guys could see me very quick, but it is dark, man. Oh, and it is cold. I am here. I got to drop this trailer. I got to drop this trailer right quick. Man, yesterday was 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 a was was a messed up day. Now I was on my way up here to uh I was on my way up here to the terminal. So as I get maybe about 35 miles, I'd say maybe a little bit less, I I get a call from my fleet manager. So I'm assuming you've got an empty trailer, right? No. Okay, well, don't come here, because you can't come here without one. This is, uh, says no uh they they didn't have no trailers there and being that i was under the assumption that since i was picking up from new Orleans, the craft up here i was under the assumption that my trailer was already ready unfortunately no so he calls me up and tells me say yo never leave a spot without grabbing the trailer first and if it ain't no trailers there make sure you call a brother and I'll send you to go and get a trailer. That's exactly what he did. I had to go in the opposite direction to go and get a trailer. Time ticking. Time ticked so damn bad that, you know, I went on ahead and pretty much shut it down for the day. Early in the morning now, I get up at one, drove, got out at two. Now I'm up here, it's a little bit after three, but I'm about to go ahead and hook up to my trailer and make it down to Illinois. But while I'm going down there, the subject of this video today, man, is about tips, tipping, tips in the service industry, in the, in the food industry. Now, we're being truck drivers. We come across a lot of restaurants, a lot of a lot of places a, a lot of places that we go out to eat my question to you today is tips other than the food industry okay other than the food industry who else in the service industry would you consider tipping 
And what I mean by service industry, I mean road service, your hair salon, nail tech, the lawn keeping services, mechanic. I mean, you know, some people say no. And what's up, YouTube? What's going on? Uh, you see this right here? This is the Zoom H1N Handy Recorder. This is where the clear sound is coming from. What's going on, what's going on? I am here, posted up, up here at Albert Leah at the Loves. Yes, sir, I'm about to go ahead and get some fuel, go ahead and park, go ahead and get a shower. But while I'm here in the fuel island, I'm about to go ahead and pull some of these drivers on today's Topic, why not chop it up with the guys here in the fuel island just to get their opinions and their thoughts on today's question, which is, by the way, tipping. How do you guys feel about tipping? Other than the food industry, other than the food industry, what other service industries do you guys consider tipping? Let's go out here and find out. The show to do it 12, and I need some company or I'll be gone by myself. The promoter just called and said the venue's selling out. Let's go. I'm in love with the shape of you. I'm in love with the things you do. I got a question for you. Or other than the food industry, what other service industries will you consider tipping? No, that's a really good question. I don't know. Who'll throw a tip to? Will you throw a tip to a person that cleans up the restroom? I do, actually, at Scott Brothers. They have that little tip jar in there. Other than the food industry, what other service industry would you guys consider tipping? I don't even know, man. Would you consider leaving a tip in the shower? Yeah. Other than the food industry, what other service industries would you consider tipping? Check your hotel, your engage, or house cleaning for your Depending on how good they are, sometimes if I get a truck wash, depending on where it's at. Would you consider leaving a tip for the people that clean up the, yeah, the shower? Yeah, the here too. Yeah, oh, okay. Shower, truck stops and shit. Uh -huh. I'm saying that I always do. What other industry, service industry, would you consider tipping? Motel? Mm -hmm. And they do a job there. Would you consider tipping the person to clean up the shower? Oh, yeah. So far. Yeah. Uh, showers is is up in there. Do you really think about tipping the person that clean up the showers after you, you know, after you finish showering? Other than the food industry, what other service industry would you consider tipping? Like a hairdresser. Oh, okay, okay. Um, back in the day when you take a cab, okay, you would tip them. Would you tip your Uber driver? Yeah. Other than the food industry, what other service industries would you consider tipping? I guess I don't know if I have me up here. That's the way I look at a lot of things. Thanks right, a lot, bit, Matt. Same with food. If it's way too priced, I tip a lot less. So I feel like I already overpaid. Overpaid. Others, what other service industries that you would consider tipping? Would you consider, like, after you take a shower at a truck stop, would you consider leaving a tip? Depends on how all right. I got a question for you. I might have an answer. Other than the food service industry, what other service industries that you would consider throwing the tip at? Salon. All right. 1016. Right. Worth it. I want to know your feelings. I'm going to dig beneath the surface. I listen because I care. Everything is for a purpose. But I don't care. Other than the food service industry, what other service industries would you consider tipping? Would you consider leaving the tip at the shop for the person who cleans it up? Sometimes I was mad. Other than the food industry, what other service industry would you consider tipping? Like valets at hotels and you know room service. I do that all the time. Uh, what other service industry will you consider tipping? Would I consider what now? Will you consider leaving the tip? Oh, like restaurants, hotels. I don't usually do it at hotels. A lot of people leave them at hotels. Always leave five dollars the guy that cleans the shower room. Other than the food industry, what other service industry would you consider tipping? Uh, getting your hair cut, uh, getting, your, getting waxed, whatever.
whatever you wax. That's different. Other than the food industry, what other service industries would you consider tipping? Hair, nail places. Okay. Even when my kids get haircuts, I tip them. I kind of almost have to because my son's a little AWOD when it comes to getting his haircut. Well, yeah, I feel like they deserve it. <laughs> Yo, I would like to come back right quick. I like to come back right quick. And 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 shout out to everybody that hooked the brother up that made some comments that that continuing to support my page man thank you thank you to everybody first thing first yo you want to get me some coffee man you want to get me something to drink or you just want to support the support the cause you know what i'm saying hook a brother up or if you just want to support me supporting other drivers let me know now, I got the coffee from IGZ, RGZ, RGZ1. So, R is A G R E Z Y 1. Be on the lookout, fam, for that picture of the cup of coffee that you just got me. I will, actually, I'm going to go ahead and pick it up now while I'm still here at the Loves. So, thank you very much for that. Make sure you. Go to Instagram at Lockout Men and start following me there, and you'll see the picture of the cup of coffee you just got for me. So thank you very much for that. And if anybody else want to hook a brother up with that, yo, the link is in the description and in the comments below. So hook me up, yo. I, I will appreciate it. Thank you very much. Second off, I appreciate everybody in the in in the whole viewing community that watches my page. Thank you very much. I do appreciate the comments that you guys give me and I appreciate the lights and the subscriptions and everything. Thirdly, let me just shout out some names right quick that uh that was in the last few videos. I want to shout out shout out to Jason B for commenting he commented in the make the call video when I did the call to TMC. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you to She Brings Fuel Tanker. Thank you very much, little lady. I appreciate your comment. Uh, and Mercer, Mersum, Mersum, M-A-R-S-U-M. Thank you very much for commenting in uh, in my previous videos. Thank you very much, I really do appreciate it. I'm gonna shout you guys out because you guys really don't have to sit there and, and watch me, you know what I'm saying? Y'all could be watching somebody else, but y'all choose to spend a little bit of time with your boy, I really do appreciate it. So thank you, thank you very much. And that's it, I am done. Guys, always catch me in another video, man. And shout out to the comp. I, I couldn't pull you up, bruh. I really couldn't, so I could put you on the screen right here. But shout out to you too for you know putting your opinion, you know, on on what I do because everybody has one. I'm I'm just saying though. I'm just saying. All right, I'm done. You guys take it easy. I'll see you guys in another video. Peace. <laughs> Yo, I'ma be completely honest, I was gonna put the chorus here, but then I noticed it was just mad awkward because it was just a bunch of clapping and shit. And I'm a bigger dude, so I probably need time to catch my breath anyway, so uh... Subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, follow me on Facebook, and uh... I think that's about it.